Hey everybody, welcome back to N90X and the Apple Xer 2008 series. If you're looking to test disk speed, this free app from Black Magic Design available in the Apple App Store is free and it does a good job. And I wanted to show you the results of some testing that I've done using various configurations. So what I did was tested a single drive. Single drive on the Xserve, one terabyte Hitachi drive, uh, 1.5 gigabit per second drive. And the test came back around 80 megabytes per second read and write, which is what I expected for such a drive. So because the Apple Xserve has three drive bays, I said, well, let's do two together, make it a mirror drive. And I got the same, basically the same results, mirroring. And I was disappointed by that because I actually expected the read, you know, when you, when you read from a mirrored array, you typically get twice the speed, right? The write would be the same because you're writing to two drives. It may even be a little bit lower, but certainly read would be, you would think would be faster. Now, there, this is using the Apple RAID configuration, Apple software RAID, which I'll show you a little bit later in this podcast or screencast. So I did, let's do two drives striped, okay? So, bam, I got double the speed, read and write, which I thought was fantastic. But again, there's three drive bays, so what would happen if I did three drives together? And this is three drives striped, and I got basically three times the speed of the original single drive by itself. That's really good performance considering Consider what you're dealing with, you know, um, the 1.5 gigabit per second bottleneck of the built-in Apple SATA on this device. Now, what kind of real-world performance did I get? So using Carbon Copy, it took 18 minutes and 46 seconds to copy from high-speed flash to, to this three-disc striped array, RAID array. And that's pretty decent, considering that I was copying going the other direction from a single drive about 49 gigabytes and that took about 24 26 minutes so this is copying uh i don't know 14 gigs more and it took eight eight, about eight minutes less so in terms of real world real gosh in terms of real world performance using this three disc striped array is, is, is pretty acceptable. Now, um, how do you set up a RAID array using Apple software, Apple, um, well, using the Apple disk utility, so it's software based. So when you get into disk utility, and of course it's, you can find it in the, with the finder or spotlight, or you can go into applications, the utilities folder, and that's where it's at. You see something like this, and you can see here's my Hitachi drives. Um, but you would click over here at, on RAID, and if you, and if these were not assigned, you could click them and drag them over to the window. And a button will appear here that says um, Create, right? And that's that's how you create the the RAID array. So again, these are three identical one terabyte drives from Hitachi. Um, I think believe they are certified for Apple, and this is Apple RAID version 2.0 that it's that's working on, and that's that's it's really that simple. Uh, of course, realize that if you're going to create a RAID array, whatever is on those disks is going to be wiped out. You're going to lose what's on those disks, so be sure that you're doing this with disks that are that you don't care about what's on them or, or you've backed them up. Um, oh, one other thing is, this is. This is my uh, flash drive off the 4 MSATA card drive array, and it is booting up from this card, the 256 card, and as you can see, there's no way to eject it. That's one way to know if you are, that what, which drive is actually booting from. If you're not sure, you can always check. If you, can, if you can eject the disk, it's not booting from that disk, right? If you cannot eject from it, it's booted from that disk. So this is the drive that it's booting from. And the performance that I'm getting, it's got 60, 68 or so gigabytes of 
everything, system information and whatnot, 71 gigs actually it says here, um, caching files, it's booting now about 25 seconds to boot this server up. Uh, comparing that to this RAID array, three disk RAID array, which looks like this, um, this one here, I only timed it the first time and it took about a minute and a half, which was disappointing, actually, very disappointing that it took so long to boot. I expected it to be faster on the boot, but at least in actual performance, we are, we are seeing a significant improvement in copy speed. So when it is up and running, it's working fairly well. So potentially you could have three two terabyte drives in a three drive striped RAID array that would give you six terabytes of data, of high speed data, uh, access to at least higher speed data. All right, well, I hope this video has been helpful, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.